Hey, what's going on my spicy people? My name is Dan the Man and welcome back to another video here on my channel or I guess Thomas Friends video here on my channel where I'm going to be making another video that I probably haven't done in a while a voice impression video because I've done a few of those in the past besides my so-called voice impression of the Steam Team where I use mostly my normal voice and tried, you know, any other sound effects to them. I don't know. Anyways... So I'm going to be voice acting a character that you guys might or might not know whom. By the way, before I do start with the voice audition on that, I want to mention something real quick. If you guys want to skip this, you could and get to like my voice impression of this character that I hope you all like. But let me explain real quick before I actually do start. So recently, ever since, you know, the Magic Railroad and all that, it's 20th anniversary and I, or 21st since this is 2021. You know, 20 years of Magic, you know, ever, the Thomas and the Magic Railroad. There has been a few fan films that have this character you all might know of. There was the Ma there's the Magic Railroad parody, which I'm thinking of reacting to that one sometime next week. There's the rewrite. I'm thinking of reacting to that one pretty soon as well. And the Secret Railway one. I'm thinking of reacting to that one sometime too. Stay tuned for my reaction to those and so on. Anyways, so for those that have seen the Magic Railroad like probably over and over or whatever or haven't seen it and really care about it, which is fine, you might know who this character is from the director's cut and all that. But for those that but but for those that don't know, just in case, let me I guess give you a little hint real quick on spoilers or not. So for those that do or do not know who this character I'm gonna be voice acting is, this is PT Boomer, or Boomer for short, played by uh American actor Doug Lexin? Is that how you say his name? I don't know if that's how you say his name. I'm kind of bad at saying people's names, but yeah. So, it when I've heard about this, I think this was like before the director's cut or something, because I kind of saw and know about it. There were supposed to be two villains in this, in the Thomas and the Magic Railroad movie, besides Diesel 10. There was P.T. PT Boomer was supposed to be in here as the first Thomas villain, besides Sailor John being the, I guess, new first one. There were supposed to be two villains in this movie, like it would be cool to have two villains, a human villain and a train villain, you know, PT Boomer and Diesel 10 working together. And for those that are one and for those that have been wondering or do already know why PT Boomer wasn't in, in this movie, well, well due to like the audience saying that he was so called violent and probably gonna gonna scare the kids, something like that, type of, you know, critic bull crap like that, he got removed from the movie. And Diesel 10 was mostly the main character, main villain to be in this movie, along with Spider and Dodge. But besides that, it is really cool. I think P.T. Boomer should have been added in this movie. Like, like uh, I think the people would like the movie better because I don't care. If, but like, like really, people are, can't get scared over an old guy that has like a motorcycle and that is all about, you know, being money and rich and all that. No, not like that. So yeah, the reason why I'm making this video of me doing my own P.T. Boomer voice impression is because... Well, I've seen a lot of, you know, fan film videos, whether they are, you know, train simulator animation videos or real life toy animation videos with like animation faces and all that. Yeah, out of all the Steam, Steam you know, characters, diesel characters, vehicle characters, and so on by all Thomas YouTubers, which I do see all of them and so on, there's barely been a any, you know, like any short film clips of P.T. Boomer being in a video. Like, again, he, he, there, there were like these three about, uh, yeah, the parody, the rewrite, and the secret railway one. But I feel like maybe P.T. Boomer should be added more because I think people, because I don't know if everyone likes P.T. Boomer more than Sailor John because Sailor John was kind of a, I guess, a rip off him. If you guys want to hear him talking about the other villain from Soder's Legend of the Lost Treasure. And, yeah. So, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this, uh, uh, I already did say this, is because if there's any Thomas YouTuber that's looking for a PT Boomer voice actor and we're thinking of, you know, I guess adding me on there, I'd be honored to because I, I want to do this to see what everyone thinks my PT Boomer voice impression, which, by the way, I'm thinking of making him sound like a old, grouchy guy or something that seems, you know, pissed off. Uh, yeah, there were a few or a couple of these other people that tried to do their own voice impressions, but the title says otherwise, or I thought I saw a little explanation part right there. Anyways, so just what I want to say, uh, all rights go to, you know, uh, yeah, all rights go to Mattel, Sony, and I guess Hit, Enter Hit Entertainment for making the 
Magic Railroad parody. This picture of P.T. Boomer that I have here is voice impression of him. Has nothing related to it. This is just a little vo voice impression for fun or voice reveal. Not voice reveal, like voice reel. I don't know how they say it. And yeah, let's do this. Hope you all enjoy. And let's see what you guys think of my P.T. Boomer voice impression. Hello, Burnett. Surprised to see me? Yeah, I bet. You know why I'm here, don't you? Where's that engine at? I see. Well, in that case, looks like I'm gonna have to level this mountain from top to bottom. Search every inch of this place, whether I find her or not. But I will find her. Mark my words, I will. I'm gonna turn this whole valley into something better and different. Parking lots, skyscrapers, and buildings. Magic makes a man unhappy like you. Money is what makes people happy like me. Since I am a rich person, I got my motorcycle. So tell me where that engine is now, or else. You know what? Fine. Make the most of your day today, since this was just a little introduction. But I'll be back, Burnett Stone! Don't think this is the last time you've heard of me. You're Billy Two Feathers, aren't you? Have you heard of me? That's right. You see that mountain over there? I'm gonna own that mountain. And pretty soon I'm gonna turn everything into a skyscraper and parking lot. Oh, dear, dear Billy. You don't understand money and richness like I do. I'll make this the best of it. Just you wait. That engine. She's somewhere in that mountain, isn't she? Oh, no, that's where you're wrong, Burnett Stone. You may have her safe where she is, but she is good for one thing. Hmm, let me see, just my helmet, yes, goggles too. She's good for scrap! <laughs> Make the most of your day again, Burnett, because I'll be back with some explosions. A dark storm, huh? Well, it's about to hit some lightning real hard. So, you heard that whistle too, didn't you, Patch? What do you say you tell me where it is and I can give you all this money you want? I'm gonna get my revenge on you, Burnett Stone. You and that engine. <laughs> you know what revenge sounds like? It sounds like this. Aha, there's an engine. But it's not her, is it? Oh well, one engine is as good as another. Whoa, where am I? What happened to all my fire? Is this the magic railroad or what? Whoa, oh, oh, hey, wait for me. I'm after that engine. Oh, oh, okay. What happened? Aha, I see you over there, Burnett Stone. And you as well, little Miss Magic. I'll destroy you all. You'll never get away from me. Diesel 10, Splodge. Come over here and help me get her. Now I'll get you, Burnett Stone. Yes? Okay, Burnett. <laughs> the gloves are off. Oh no, oh no, not the bridge. Look out! Ah! Oh, this is disgusting. What is this? <coughs> Ugh, smells like waste dump and manure mixed together. Ugh, oh, good thing I got myself out of there in time. Wait, officers, officers, look, I can explain. Uh, see, there's... Wait, you're the one called Sir Topham Hat, aren't you? Hey, come on, hey, I'm a rich person. You cannot arrest a billionaire like myself. You know what? Curse you, Puffball. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling trains. But I'll be back. Mark my words, P.T. Boomer will be back. Watch the suit, boys. And yeah, that's it. That is my own voice impression of P.T. Boomer. I hope you all enjoyed. I know it sounded kind of, I'm guessing, 100% close to my voice or 90% close to my voice. And a little bit of grouchy 
scratchiness at the throatness at the same time. That's because I wanted to make him sound like a little bit like an old man and sound all grouchy and evil at the same time when he does his laugh. When he said, she'll be good for scrap. <laughs> like that, you know? I just thought it sounded a little cool to see if he sounded all old, young, like grouchy or something. Because I mean, I know he's a, an old guy like Burnett. But by the way, rest in peace to Peter Fonda still. But yeah, um, <clears throat> and Doug Lexi as well. But yeah, having him, like me, voicing as him is really fun and all that. So if there are any Thomas YouTubers that are watching this, or I guess hopefully are, whatever. Because if there's nobody watching this because I get how I'm a low YouTuber and all that, that's fine. Uh, let me put it like this. If any of you are looking for a PT Boomer voice actor and want me to fill in for like either another fan Thomas Magic Railroad video... Magic Railroad movie film, or for a short, like say he will a fan PT Boomer film or something like that, then feel free to contact me if you want on my Twitter and my Discord server. The links are down in the description where I have my Discord user or my Discord server. I am don't I don't have Instagram at the moment because I'm still having problems with my Instagram, but Twitter and Discord, I'm still available to use. So if there's anyone that's looking for a PT Boomer voice actor, feel free to contact me because I'm available anytime. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy my PT Boomer voice impression because it's been a while since I last done a voice impression of any character or how many more I should do. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment down below on, on, on what your favorite part of this video was and if you like my PT Boomer voice impression because I try my best. Like, trying, trying your best of doing a voice impression of someone is fun. Like, there are a lot of Thomas YouTubers that are pretty good at trying their best to sound like the characters, whether they're high, low, or medium. But I hope my Pete's Boomer voice impression was pretty cool. Or normal. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm Dan the Man, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye. -bye. Bye.